Kurumi got fisted, absolutely donutted. Not even just one Kurumi died, both Kurumis died. And then Mio showed up and everyone is like, who's Kurumi? <laughs> Takamiyo Mio Peak! In fact, people got so mad that there was like a comment section. They're like, you be in the way because how dare you like Mio more than my wife who Kurumi? How could you do this? No, it's our wife who like, oh my god, shit's getting unhinged. But hey, the plot's getting pretty good. The revelations, the crazy revelation of who Shin is. Shin is basically Shiro back in the day and then he dies because of West God and Mio takes Shin's particles, sucks her up and then goes like, hmm, meaning she's pregnant. So Shiro is his own dad? No, I don't know how this works. Mio's kind of her mom? No, I don't know. It's fucking all over the place. I'm not sure if the flashback is over. Maybe we'll get more of this, but now we have to figure out how Shiro gets popped out of the womb, how he then gets, you know, put into the Iska family by Kotori and stuff like that. I want to know more about like Westcott, Elliot, Ellen and stuff like that with the DEM because so far it doesn't seem like they've really fallen out, but you've already seen Elliot kind of help us. Man, Elliot actually got straight up cucked by like a 14 year old kid. And there's some insane parallels between how our date with Mio went and how our date with Toka went. Like, even like naming Mio, even like the bear crane game when the dog and, and then the fucking, you know, the, the, uh, the bread cook. There's so many things where I was watching the episode. I'm like, huh, feels like a Toka date. Why? I don't know. Everything eventually, you know, traces back to the origin spirit, Takamiya Mio, right? Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. Once more. I'll make sure you'll never be broken this time. So now this kind of explains why Shiro has the ability to take in Kamael, all these different other spirit powers, because she, Shiro is like the byproduct of, you know, Mio's pregnancy, however the fuck that works. So this kind of explains why he is so spirit capable. The kissing part, I'm not really sure. Maybe there's like a separate mechanic for it, but this kind of just explains like all his powers and spirit stuff. Sharing my power, okay. Slow drip. You'll be able to take it in. The other spirits. The other spirits that come from the origin spirit, right? And someday your human body will eventually be able to accept that power. By going on a date. Kissing the girls. Sealing them. Taking the power back. No? And then once we've gathered all the spirits. So if we collected Kurumi, then... We would be together forever. But we didn't seal Kurumi just yet. Because, like, you know, we were flirting. And the meal came out of nowhere. Just fucking, hello! It just came out of Kurumi's chest, right? But live together forever? Oh, donut! Hello! What's up? <laughs> Did Kurumi just give birth to meal? No, this is a C-section! Yeah, this is a C-section. She just gave birth to me or <laughs> her mom. A very wholesome mom. Wholesome indeed. <gasps> what in the fuck is that, dude? It's not even a clean hole. Jesus. Looks like a prolapsed anus. <laughs> Wait. No, she's actually dead. <laughs> So what happens to her now? All the clones go away. What about the OG? The OG just falls? Don't you dare be down bad when Kunami's dying. Really? No. Uh, at the moment, she's dead, but I don't think that she's going to be dead for the rest of the season. I just don't see that. No shot. Like, right now, yeah, she's dead, but I... Uh, is that really the end? No way. No shot. Shin. I'm not Shin. I'm Shido. He doesn't know the memories, right? The bear! All the memories are back? Mio. Now what? I get it, Kyohei! She's dead! 
Oh, she's the way she's actually dead, right? Rene, that fucking bear, too. Rene, what's up? Say something. Not this time. But not smart enough. Oh, shit. Bakana! I'm gonna assume Maria's down. Okay, but now what? What's your end game plan? She's related to Mio. Origin spirit? Some kind of copy? One will. Two body. Okay. Okay. Split myself. So. I don't know if it's like the same thing like a Kurumi clone, but basically, this is Mio, but you know, it's just Reine, uh, alias, different body. Granting Sephira, giving girls, yes. So. I mean, Reine was there, season four, when Phantom was there, but I was like, what's really going on here? So she was going around distributing the Sephira. Why? So that one day, Shiro could slowly collect them one by one, and eventually, like Mio said, eventually, you would then meet me again. That's the idea. I thought that she was maybe like brainwashed, maybe under control, but like she just knew from the fucking beginning. That hurts, man. That hurts, man. Yeah. <laughs> Maria's so sassy. <laughs> chill. Ch ch Jesus Christ, Maria. I, maybe it is the correct time to bring, you know, some have some jokes to like liven up the mood, but holy shit. <laughs> okay, she's trying to rile them up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Rene, Mio, two moms. That bear! Oh my, oh my god, that was... This, you, this is like, this is masturbation. It is. They're the same, they're the same person. This is masturbation. Now what? They become, oh! Astral spirit, astral dress. Damn, look at that design! And only one of them is glowing. One, how many of them are there? How many of these orbs are there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in total. Ten spirits? Ten ball things? Now, what is the inverse spirit of Mio? If we break that crystal, can we, like, resurrect Kurumi? That's Kurumi right there. What if we, like, break it? What happens if we kiss Mio? That fucking bear is underneath right here. Dude, the bear is hiding his face right now. Mmm, sussy bear, man. What about the other girls? Are you gonna kill them too and take them back? What's gonna happen? But? Yeah, you can't do this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so fucked up. You two could be like this. She's dead. Dude! Fucking cover up the corpse, bro! Have some respect! Whatever it took, like killing Kurumi. She's insane. Uh, Shiro can't accept that. I'm just waiting for a moment where Shiro says, No! I'm not Shin! I'm Shiro! And these girls, they're my harem! Oh, he's resisting. Oh, she... Give birth and then come back later? Did, is this really the only way to do it? We only dated her for like a day, by the way. How long was the duration of that flashback? Like... This girl's fucking insane. How long was that flashback? More than a month? Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was like one day they met and now she's like, I love you forever. I'm gonna take your corpse now and then give birth to a new Shido. And then I'm gonna come after you. You're, you're kind of scaring me. 
What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Chill, 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 chill. What are you gonna do? No, no, no. We need those other memories. Those are seasons one to four memories. The other girls have to show up right now. Okay, let's go. There we go. Yamai twins. Yo, are the Yamai twins ever gonna fucking fuse and become Yamai? <laughs> She's being greedy. Oh no, our girls are gonna get bodied. The fuck? Is he sealed? Uh, here comes the gross. <gasps> now is not the time! Now maybe we can get the gross trio to come out with us and fight Ellen. Gross. Gross. It's coming. She has only one line and she sticks to it every time. He's getting real close, bro. Yo, Shido, that pose, though. Now what do we do? We just walk all the way back? Going back to my mom, who's my girlfriend, I think. Gross. Can the teacher would try to stop them? Is that what's happening right now? The friends are helping us out. Because the teacher would Tensei would try to stop us. <laughs> he was trying to have a moment. He was almost cool there. What the fuck? Really? In front of the kids? I mean, we're in the end game now. You're gonna flex the powers though? Shit. I mean, they don't know anything, right? They don't fucking know anything. This is like a chuny fantasy, right? You got these OP fucking powers and you're in high school and no one really knows and you wanna fucking be like, oh yeah, I got this fucking power, bro. <laughs> she still thinks it's lame. All right. The parallels between Mio and Toka's date, man. It's insane. Oh. You better cool. Mio, just call, kill them all. Easy. Just... What, what, what is that? I'm so out Flower looking thing. Petals open up. What is it? They all just disappear? Flower open? There's like these little blue particles that showed up. Westcott, get in there, bro. What are you doing? Deusu? What is this name? Is it like a code name for Mio? Mio is Deusu? Okay. She's so benevolent and nice. I don't even know. And she's just like, I understand my daughters. I'm about to kill you. Now come at me. That felt like an ending. Okay, Origami took out Artemis. Nice. All right, rest of the girls. Let's go to the main site. Go to Mio. CGI captain. She's so shy. Fucked up. What did she say? Makes you wonder where they got that talk of enemy life forms incapable of communication. Probably just a lie, right? Propaganda fed to the AST to just fight. Okay, it's more of those flower particles from Mio. Oh my god, it just phases through it. What happens if it touches you? Are they dead or just like offline? I don't know. No, we cannot be just like really. The flower just basically opens and it's just like spores and it just like hits something, everyone just dies. If these many people are dying and Kurumi's already quote unquote dead, there's gotta be some kind of time mechanic. Like the way that I see this pro story progressing is somehow. Shido will be able to unlock Kurumi's power that's sealed within Mio's one of the things. By doing that, maybe he can do Yodbet 
something to go back in time and then prevent all this from happening. That's the only way that I can really foresee the story progressing because if everyone's just dead like this, it makes no sense. Wonder what kissing Neo would do right now. Mana is like 40 something years old, by the way. Ellen versus Elliot. Still making yourself look younger? What does she really look like? How did he go back into young form like this? The suit. Our revenge against mankind? DEM was created to avenge against mankind? I thought that in the beginning, DEM was created because they had science and research and saw the potential in how spirits energy and stuff could enhance the quality of life but then and elliot was down for that and then elliot and and then westcott started to get drunk on power and started to get extreme and then elliot decided to go away but in the beginning it was for revenge what the fuck <laughs> you seduced my little sister <laughs> i mean game is game Elliot just got that riz. He's got that wheelchair riz, bro. She fucking pushing her wheelchair, bro. The village burnt down by humanity. They come from like some kind of other area? Are they even human? Humanity, mankind. Are they even human? Village, they say. You wouldn't just say village unless you're like fucking living out in the boonies, right? That's very precarious wording. Our village? Revenge against mankind. I'm just gonna assume like they're like scientific experiments? What the fuck is going on? Don't let Karen hear that, bro. Elliot did fall in love with Mio, right? They needed Mio for the revenge against mankind, I see. What are you? These blonde haired beings. What? I don't think they see you that way. Okay, actual village. They just looks. This is Frida and shit. What the fuck? So, like, they're literal fucking wizards back in the day? And then uh, human experimentation onto these wizards? And that's why the strongest sorcerer. The strongest wizard, all that technology, AST, Ratatosker, that must all be because of the experimentation that they did on Elliot Westcott, El El Ellen? I, I don't know. But AST technology, all that shit is from this stuff. The fucking, you know, uh, I, I forget the exact terminologies. There's a bunch of different, like, actual important terminologies when describing the uh, stuff that the AST and DEM uses, like the realizers and all that bullshit. What are you saying? <laughs> oh. Oh, yo, they used that against Penka. Gungnir. That sounds like an OP fucking skill. So, those flower particles aren't hitting us? You're shaking in your boots. No, you're not. You just stuttered. And I am waiting for the Yamai twins to fucking fuse. Please, this has been set up from season two that apparently if you fuse, you become this OP fucking being. Like, you gonna do it? Now's the time. Oh, this is a classic Data Live soundtrack. Pokemon. Big sound of Oh, she already transformed it. What the fuck was the transformation? I don't think I really did anything right. 
<gasps> oh! She really loves doing this. She she really loves piercing girls from behind. It's just like donut. It's not really a donut. It's like a pierce to like. There goes her. She dead. Kaguya dead. And again, more reason why I believe that all these deaths, while yes, it is happening real time, Shido will be able to use Zaf kill and go back in time. There's no way people will just die like this. Uh, there's the Sephira crystal thing. What about Yuzuru? Does she not have a Sephira? Is it only having Kaguya? They're not actually dead, bro. They are now, but like in the long term. And Shido gets there and Mio has pretty much killed all the girls. Imagine how upset he'll be. Oh shit! This is it! This is the scene! This is the Shido and Weska stare down, hair fluttering fucking scene, dude! That scene in the trailer went so hard! Oh, fuck. Isaac Westcott, look at the bangs, the fluttering throw. Look at the fucking fluttering of the fucking hair. That's it. Today's episode, all out war, more war. Kurumi's officially dead. Like, yes, she got pierced through the fucking stomach like last, last episode. But this episode is like, yes, we literally stole the Sephira. Mio has placed it in her fucking Audi, whatever the fuck her spirit is. And she's here to collect all 10 spirits. And when they're all collected, I wonder what happens. I just don't think that these deaths are uh, solidified. Because, yes, we're in the end game. There needs to be some kind of stakes. And, yes, we're going to kill people off. But I just don't think that Kurumi is going to be dead. I don't think that Kaga is going to be dead. All these other people are just dying from her fucking flower attack. It just doesn't make sense for this story to continue in this timeline. I think that Shida will somehow capture Zafkil back and he'll go like this. Zafkid, you'd better some shit and then be able to redo this all over again and somehow make everyone happy. Mio is a Yandere? I don't know, maybe a little bit. There were some cool moments with the human side too, right? They haven't really gotten much focus, but... You know, the friends holding the sensei back so Shido could go. And then Shido flexing his fucking spirit powers. I wonder... Well, again, like, this, it's this timeline, right? They're not gonna remember this shit when we go back in the past. So I, I, I think it'll be totally fine. That fucking flower particle magic, dude, that is insane. It touches you and you just fucking die. And Westcott has been waiting for this. Surely he has an idea of how to kind of like battle against that. The backstory of Elliot and uh, Westcott... Ellen, Karen, that's gonna be next episode. Apparently it's called the Three Magi or Magi. Interesting that Karen's not part of it. I wonder why, because probably she, I don't know. I thought she'd be included, but I guess the humans found actual like sorcerers, wizards, magicians, whatever it is, and then experimented on them. And eventually it was so cruel. Westcott had all these revenge plans. And in order to do that, we need to get Mio. So it was never about, you know, Westcott having like a sound plan to utilize spirit power for the greater good and then going extreme. It's like it was always about revenge and it was more of Elliot that was on board with revenge. But then eventually realized that, you know what, maybe this isn't right. Maybe revenge is not the best way forward and the conclusion could be much better. I don't know. Today's episode, more revelations, more high fights, data peak. And this fucking, you know, fluttering of the hair scene, bro. Shido and Westcott. That was actually so hype. Only for us to get fucking cliffhanger and then just go to a fucking backstory. But it is what it is. And that's it for me. If you're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.